Thank you very much. So first of all, I'd like to thank the organizers, Samia and Ashok, uh, for giving me an opportunity to talk uh, to a good, <laughs> nice workshop. So today, um, I'd like to discuss some aspects of modular completions of SL2 over U1 uh, supercomma field theory. So especially, I try to uh, show you um, some simpler expressions of modular completions or uh, Zweger's f hat function uh, based on some refined calculation of fast integration of ellipse genus of SL2 over U1. Uh, these are main references. And uh, uh, the, the main result of today's talk uh, is included in the so forthcoming paper, uh, What's in Progress. So let me uh, give you a brief introduction. <coughs> so I have been um, studying mainly SL2 over U1, super concept uh, conformal field theory, which is known to be dual to or mirror to N equal to reveal theory. So as is familiar, uh, I think this is the simplest non-rational N equal to super conformal field theory. It describes a curved non-compact background, so-called Shiga geometry, or the trumpet geometry, uh, if you like a T-dual, t-dual picture. So among others, so I think uh, the recent important progress is the discovery of the fact that uh, elliptic genus of this model is modular but no holomorphic. So this is first discovered by, uh, by Jan Trust in this paper. Also, uh, in my paper, with, uh, in collaboration with Eguchi, uh, so we derive the same result based on the <coughs> uh, torus patch function. <coughs> and so basically, uh, we claim that elliptic genus is elliptic genus of SL2 by your theory is expanded by the modular completion of um, characters. Uh, not by characters themselves. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's briefly discuss what is a modular completion. So SL2 over U1 theory basically has a two building blocks. So continuous character uh, which corresponds to the non bbs representation of n equal to super conformal algebra, and uh, discrete character, which corresponds to BPS representation. And uh, we, we'd like to now consider the extent character. So the extent just means a summation over spectral flows. I think such an object is uh, first introduced by this paper, Eguchi and Taumina, in the context of representation theory of N equal 4 <coughs> superconformal algebra. And then uh, it, is, uh, it is generalized to the uh, case of Calabria 3 compactation by Odake. And then, so, <coughs> so these extent characters are first introduced by the paper, this, um, myself and Eguchi, 2003. Uh, 2003. So I think this is uh, so this is a, a discrete character, uh, which is which is important in this talk, and I think this is a typical form of mock modular form, precisely speaking, holomorphic part of mock modular form. So. <coughs> So let me show you the modular transformation formula. Uh, Sorry, I think I have a comment. So in the languages that we just talk, it's, it's, it's a fairly like sum. Yeah. 
So, uh, so, so uh, okay. So this is a modular transformation, a schematically written modular transformation formula. So uh, continuous character, S transformation continuous character is very simple. This is just uh, uh, like a Fourier, Fourier transformation. And the discrete character has a complicated, uh, compl com complicated expression of S transformation. The non-triviality non is the existence of mixing term. So a modular transformation of discrete character is not closed uh, among, among themselves. So we have a mixing term uh, contributed from continuous character also. So probably uh, this is a typical, uh, typical for more modular forms. So the uh, existence of mixing term uh, seems, to seems to lead to difficulty in construction of objects with good modular properties. I think uh, so this aspect would be a typical for uh, non-compact curved tar co tar target space. Uh, would be typical for string theory on non-compact curved target space. And so uh, in that paper, so <coughs> uh, we introduce a modular completion of uh, discrete character, extended discrete character. So now uh, let me uh, denote it as chi hat this. So chi, sorry. Is it always true for non-compact curved target spaces that you get some mock behavior? Non-compact? This is and the last statement that you made. That's the statement. Uh, so it's typical for non-compact curve. Non-compact conformal, non-rational superconformal field theory, I think. Can we make this statement? Can we push this statement or not? Please. No, no, it's not, state, not statement. Yeah, just, just, so that's my impression. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so uh, maybe in mathematical terminology, uh, so this part is holomorphic part of uh, mock modular form. This corresponds to the correction term. And uh, so uh, this is closely related to the so-called shadow part. And of course, so uh, our modular completion is clo uh, closely related to the uh, Svega's, Svega's paper, two, 2002. And also, uh, this work is strongly inspired by uh, Truth's paper which I introduced before. So we sch schematically define uh, the statement chi hat this is modular completion of chi this just means we have no mixing term. And OK, so in this talk, I would like to discuss uh, Simple, ex simple expressions of modular completions of SL2 over U1, so based on the path integration of the um, elliptic genus. And <coughs> so uh, I will show, show you the uh, kind of Eisenstein like series, no, uh, non holomorphic extension of uh, Eisenstein like series. <coughs> Also, uh, I'd like to discuss uh, some application to the Gapner like orbitals for non compact Calabria models. So, why are you worried that the discrete uh, characters mix with the continuous representations under, under modular transformation? Why is that a problem? Why? <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And what I done some function, which yeah. Is, uh, but for example, I think uh, I think it is very difficult to construct a modular invariant part function. So that's uh, the yeah, that's yeah, the yeah. That's problem. Yeah. Thank you. 
Ah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, so you can say it's being modular is not R, but then it's not going to be Yeah, right. I thank you. <laughs> okay, so, yeah, this is the contents of this talk. So, introduction uh, was finished. And uh, I, I start with some uh, more detailed explanation of modular completions uh, in this context. And next, next section is the main part of this talk. So uh, I'll show you the, uh, some, some simpler, simpler some ex expression, simpler formula of modular completions, uh, which looks like a non holomorphic uh, analog of Eisenstein series. Finally, so I'll discuss some application uh, uh, to get the right orbitals for non compact carbons. And then uh, I'll summarize this talk. So, modular completions. And instead of treating the extent characters themselves, uh, we start with a closely related function, so called upper function, or maybe more precisely, upper reach sum. <laughs> so, defined this way the variable is tau, z, and u. But uh, in my talk, so variable u, uh, we can ignore the variable u. So uh, almost all part, in, in the almost all part, uh, we, I said, I just said u equals zero. <coughs> so I think this is a typical example of MOOC modular form, or maybe, uh, so I, I should say uh, MOOC Yakobi form. And maybe, so uh, as is familiar I mean that, uh, in this workshop, so uh, <coughs> important progress uh, was uh, given by Tsubegas, namely uh, in my terminology. So mo uh, modular completion of appeal function is so given as follows. So this is. Uh, so upper function, and this is a correction term. Uh, maybe, uh, so mathematically, uh, so this function uh, roughly corresponds to the so-called harmonic mass form, I think. Anyway, so this is the definition of correction term, R. So this is an error function, and tau2 is just an imaginary tau. So, so this is non-holomorphic. And curiously, uh, this factor looks like a negative level theta function. Anyway, uh, Tsubegas pro proved that uh, a fat defined this way is a non holomorphic uh, weak Yakov form of weight one and index, uh, index k with respect to z and index minus k uh, with res respect to u variable. So, uh, explicitly, function of hat has these properties. These are modular properties, and this is a, a spectral pro property uh, corresponding to the index k. Sorry, could you just go back one step? Yeah. Uh, so, this negative level uh, theta function, that's some formal construction, right? Because by itself, that's not convergent. Uh, but this factor, this yeah. factor acts as, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this factor uh, acts, acts as a Gaussian dumping factor, and then this function is well defined. But is there an elliptic property in u as well? Yeah, but, but uh, the index minus k. So you, you, you replace, yeah, it's called you plus k, and yeah, 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 that's right. What were the conditions on k? k? k is a positive integer. k is a uh, positive integer. 
もう一度見てみるんですよ。Okay. K0 <笑>。いやいや、K、but K equal in the, K, in the case of K equal zero, I think this function is not well defined. But the original function already is modular. The sum that you have is a s t a s function. If you look at the original appellate sum, a p p e l a t i o n Appellate sum. Yeah, so. Yeah, but to. Maybe, the, uh, okay. In the case of k equals zero, this, this series is uh, just conditionally converges, right? Yeah, but you can modify it slightly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it, it may be possible. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to note the. Uh, The function f fat naturally appears in the path integral evaluation of elliptic genus of s e l s by u1. So, uh, which, uh, which is first discussed in the paper of Tulust, uh, as I said above. Also, the modular completion, Kai had this modular completion of extended discrete character was uh, defined as it was a Fourier transform of t u b e g a s function f fat. So, They are naturally led off from the torus partition function, a uh, discrete part of torus partition function, as well as the elliptic. This is the main point of the, uh, our paper. Okay. So, uh, so let me show you the explicit form of Kai had this modular completion of extended character. So, this is a t u b e g a function uh, with u equals zero. Roughly speaking, this is just kind of uh, Fourier transform, or, the, or uh, the formula of Zn o b i f o l d And this is the character part, and this is the collection part. So, R, R is the same as uh, uh, that of t u b e g a s Completion. Also, uh, we can rewrite this formula uh, this way. This uh, uh, kind of integral expression. I think this is natural for the path integral, uh, path integral approach. So I think this, this expression ha has a, a nice physical uh, origin. But <laughs> so these formulas are very <laughs> complicated, I think. Uh, later, I will, I will discuss uh, some simplification of uh, these formulas. Uh, maybe it is easy to memorize. So what is VN A? Uh, the bar of this? this uh, B, B and A. Ah, OK. Uh, so V and A. Uh, Param, param, okay, uh, param, parameter of uh, so representation and V roughly corresponds to the isospin of SL2, and A roughly corresponds to the uh, U1 charge. Okay, so in the case of. Okay, in, in the case of. Uh, yeah. Are we discussing something more general? Uh, okay, anyway, so in the case of any. Uh, n equal to minimal. So we have uh, so maybe two a and n value. So roughly, roughly speaking, l corresponds to v and m corresponds to a. Then. Okay, so I'd like to further comment on uh, some more recent progress. So, so uh, in the paper of Ashok and Trust, uh, 2011, so they, uh, they discussed a 
so so called twisted epigenesis, uh, intending uh, intending at, intending inclusion of the u variables of uh, Zweigert function. More recently, so in these papers, uh, the authors gave a, a nice calculation of the epigenesis based on the gauge linear sigma model, uh, making use of a so called localization technique. In the, in the recent terminology. OK, uh, so let's start the, our main discussion, main, main part of this talk. So first, first uh, let me remind you the world sheet, world sheet action of SL2 over U1 super gauge based minority model. So this is a central charge. Uh, in the context of n equal to two theory, we uh, c hat means uh, c over three, and k is a level of uh, super bessemanoid. The kappa is a bosonic part of level. Then we assume k is a, a positive real number. Here we so uh, we do not assume k is uh, natural. Quantization of R charge. Quantization of R charge. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, no. Yeah, no, no. Uh, R, R charge is continuous. Okay. R, R charge is continuous. R charge. Is okay. Is the R charge continuous? OK, so, uh, so this is a total action. This is a gauge based unit action. And this is a Fermi part. Mm. OK, so this is a definition of large action. And uh, we start with a torus partition function. And since we have a non compact target space, we have IR divergence, of course. So I think it is better to consider the finite part, uh, which, which removes the uh, asymptotic, asymptotic part of the modular invariant part function. So this is a uh, regularization factor, uh, regularization of IR, uh, IR regularization factor. And this part corresponds to, basically corresponds to bosonic and phenomenic uh, determinant. And this is a contribution from twisted boson. Uh, which has always in the so chiral, chiral gauge transformation. It so uh, it plays a role of uh, some so winding modes. Okay, this is the definition of uh, IR regularization factor sigma. So uh, it just removes the singularity of integrand. Okay, so uh, this this integrand has a poles, and uh, this fun function is organized to to remove the uh, singularity of integrand. So, is it a minus one or epsilon? Minus one. <laughs> okay, epsilon is a regular parameter. Epsilon is uh, some small positive. Tau two is an imaginary tau. And this is a positive definite. If it's if one, so uh, okay, this is that just a Gaussian fact. Do you know the modular properties of this function? Modular property. Yeah, I think I, I think uh, I think if so if shown zero limit is well defined and uh, at least in this limit, uh, this, this function uh, does not break the modular invariance. I think this is a, so, uh, some, I think this is a, some nice regularization. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's move to LPGNAS. 
So elliptic genus should be obtained by uh, formally setting z bar equals zero with keeping the uh, generic complex value. Then, so uh, start with a uh, torus partition function. <coughs> so we can obtain the expression of uh, the elliptic genus. However, uh, due to the winding, uh, due to the Gaussian factor of winding modes, uh, so I think this is the origin of complication, of calculation. So, so I would like to uh, somehow remove this factor. So the argument is as follows. So this is uh, maybe a crucial step of this talk. So uh, we make use of the, this rewriting. This is essentially, uh, essentially obtained in my paper, 2011. So okay. uh, this is a spectral oper operator. Uh, I, will I will define uh, below. And this part is essentially uh, z infinity of, of sugar. Or uh, if, so if we take a t-dried picture, uh, this part is identified with a uh, elliptic genus of universal cover of trumpet. So we clearly have a no winding, winding uh, contribution to this, this, this one. And this is a uh, an explicit definition of spectral flow, oper spectral flow operator S. So uh, this is defined with keeping uh, so that so it keeps the modular covariance. And then uh, we can explicitly evaluate Z of infinity as follows. The point is we have no binding modes. We have, uh, so we have no longer winding modes. Then uh, we are, so the calculation, you integralize very, uh, so straightforward. And this is just a result. Very simple formula. Then finally, we, we obtain this formula of, so elliptic genus of sigma model. Okay. So this is the uh, main result of this talk. So Z is an uh, elliptic genus of Shiga. And uh, so I'd like to call this part so non holomorphic identity like series. Maybe, uh, so it is better to, to uh, so identify this function. Uh, is a general non holomorphic generalization of wire star sigma function. But uh, so uh, let me use this terminology here. <coughs> so, okay, so, so you, uh, as you can see, this is just a Gaussian dumping factor. So, this, this power series uh, absolutely converges. And then, okay, this is just a, sum, this is a sum, uh, summary of the main formula. I think this is the simplest functional form of the elliptic of uh, SL12 over U theory. Among other things, so you can easily prove uh, modular and spectral flow properties uh, based on this formula. In other words, you can easily uh, show this function uh, is really non holomorphic Jacobi, Jacobi form. Low, yes, Gaussian. I, I think this is a very nice formula. At least it is easy to memorize. <laughs> so uh, we can also present another derivation. 
something basic from the point of view of the some s uh, what I can say is uh, this would be this would be related to the gauge of basement action. So uh, I, I think this is uh, so analog of the classical action in the instant, instant calculation. Okay. So this is another derivation of the main formula. So this is, uh, so Z infinity uh, is also expressed uh, based on the modular completion of irreducible character. So, oh, sorry. so this is uh, uh, modular completion of irreducible character. Uh, this is an in so integral expression. And this is uh, so irreducible character and this is a correction term. So still, this is a very complicated form. However, a little surprisingly, this integral is very simple. And this is just a straightforward calculation. <coughs> so, and then we again achieve the same result. Okay, so thi this is a contribution of uh, holomorphic part. And this is a contribution of uh, uh, collection part. And then, uh, so you finally obtain this uh, simple formula. So uh, let's also discuss uh, uh, relation to the previous works. Right. Okay. So, so there's, there's, some, there's some kind of wall crossing going on here? Wall crossing. I, I don't know. Wall crossing. Uh, so I mm. said one of these formulas uh -huh. for all values of Z or whether you need to specify. Uh, mm. <laughs> I don't know. Functions can be holomorphic in Z, right? Yeah. There's some hole, but there's a function in that zero. So let's discuss the relation to the previous works. And uh, this, so these are the formulas given by uh, my paper in 2010. So elliptic genus of sigma uh, is expanded by the modular completion of extended character. Also, uh, this is also expressed by Zubega's function. So, so combining uh, these formulas with a uh, new calculation present, he present here. So we should, we should obtain modular completions are also, <laughs> so modular completions are also expressed in terms of the non-holomorphic non Eisenstein series. And this is, a, uh, so, so we, we especially obtain a very simple formula of uh, Zubega's function. Again, I think I like this formula uh, because it is easy to memorize. Now, so uh, let, me, let me make uh, one comment. Here, in the right-hand side, so right-hand side is well defined for an arbitrary positive k. So I, I think this, uh, this expression uh, is a kind of parametric extension of the Zwebega's function. Also, we also obtain the form, uh, chi hat this uh, can be uh, expressed, expressed in terms of the uh, non holomorphic identity series. So you can again, uh, you can again so show this function is a expect, expected modular and spectral pr properties. 
based on these formulas. Okay. So uh, let us consider an application, <coughs> application of um, the results uh, present above. So uh, we will discuss about gaps like orbitals for non-compact Calabria space. So this is the schematic definition of gaps like orbitals. So usual gaps model is uh, uh, just a tensor. All before the tensor product of minimal model, n equal to minimal model. Now, uh, so we consider the minimal model, and L, L, L just means uh, SL2 over U1 superconstitutory. Now, so uh, we are considering a fractional level case, rational level case. K equal, K equal capital N over capital K. And this is uh, just a critical condition. And so this, so this model is expected to describe uh, some non compact Calabria uh, background. And we especially, we'd like to especially focus on the ellipsis genus. So re uh, let's consider the each sector, uh, ellipsis genus of each sector. Maybe this is a very familiar formula. Uh, ellipsis genus of equal to minimal model. Uh, first, uh, calculated by Witten based on uh, n equal to lambda Ginzburg model. And also, uh, same result is obtained based on uh, S SU2 over U1 Kadama Suzuki superset. When you say that it's expected to describe non-compact Calabria, is there some, I mean, is there some certainty to the, the cigar is not really flat? Yeah, 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 that's right. So, but, but, uh, SU2 yeah, over U1. So, so, okay, the SU2 over U1 uh, uh, Cosette theory has a uh, target space disk, right? It not, not, maybe not rich flat. But anyway, so, uh, so, so in the context of string compatibility, Gepner model should, uh, should give a super, super symmetric, super symmetric uh, vacuum of string theory. Uh, so th this is the reason why we expect the uh, Calabria. But uh, now, so we have a contra spectrum due to uh, which originates from n equal to uh, n equal to SL2 by U1 sector. So, uh, so I think this is the reason why so we expect the uh, non-compact Calabria space. Isn't Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so yeah, yeah. So, so we start with uh, so uh, rational level case. We chose it to be rational. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so we 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 uh, so this is just a GSO projection in in the. Oh, zero okay. Way. Yeah. Yeah. So this is just a GSO projection. Yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe, maybe I, I, I think, I think this model uh, may have some non-geometric phase. I, I, I think so. Okay, okay, so, so. It, so for sure, I mean, that, for instance, vanishes for some logic. So, so the, if you just think of the geometry, then it's not. It's something like a point. It's not like a point. I mean, if you just slice it, it may not be easy. Like, oh, okay, these are, uh, so gauge the basement model. 
gaze with mid model is uh, not, not really a, not really equal equal that uh, non near single model, right? So this is just a concept of conformal field theory. Okay, anyway, so we'd like to uh, calculate the ellipse genus of uh, this super conformal model. And this is a minimal, so we have no formula of S, minimal, we have no formula of ellipse genus of minimal model. And also, the ellipse genus of SL2 over U1 model is obtained by Troost and uh, others. But uh, now we, uh, as we observed above, it is rewritten in the simpler form. So I, we expect that probably uh, this expression makes, e makes it easier to calculate. So let's consider the uh, to ellipticness to total sim system based on the modular completion in the SL2 R over your sector. So I should mention the closely related study by Ashok and Trust. 2012. Anyway, uh, so uh, this, so this LPC is yes, the in principle calculable as in the compact Kepler model, but uh, so, but the, uh, based on character expansion, uh, calculation looks very difficult. It is a non-conformal non correction term. And so uh, I'd like to study the what is a universal functional form. So let me show you uh, some results. First of all, in the case of, ad, uh, in the case of uh, ad shihat, ad, ad dimensional non-compact Calabria case. So shihat equal 2L plus 3. However, uh, in this case, we have a uh, some nice identity. So, uh, by using the uh, by using the expect expected property of uh, non holomorphic Jacobi form, we can prove uh, these identities, and the, the calculation just reduced to the uh, even dimensional case. Maybe this uh, some uh, non holomorphic version of the so called Gritzenko theory, I guess. So it is enough to only consider the even she has cases. Ah, let me, uh, let me, let me give you a uh, comment. In the case of Calabria 3, she had equals 3, uh, she had equals 3. Just, uh, so L, L should be zero, and this factor is trivial. This factor should be constant. Then, uh, in special case of Calabria 3, uh, that Gepner, Z Gepner is holomorphic in, as in compact case. This is a small comment. And then, this is the most non-trivial part. So in the case of uh, C hat e, equal even, even number, so this is a, uh, I think this is a reasonable answer. But not, this is not based on the character expansion. OK, uh, theta is uh, defined this way. Maybe this is uh, some uh, kind of basis, basis of uh, Jacobi form and in, in the some years talk. And this is a, so of course this is a pair function. And Fs tau should be a non holomorphic modular form of weight 2s. Kai. Kai is, ah, so, sorry, Kai is just a Euler number. Or weight index. Mm. So, how to compute Fs tau? This is a strategy. So uh, we compute with keeping the properties as weak Jacobi form manifest. And uh, we'd like to make use of the previous formulas of 
uh, free a simple formula of uh, modular completions. Also, uh, holomorphic contribution is a uh, uh, holomorphic contribution just means a uh, uh, contribution from minimal sector. Holomorphic contribution is the Eisenstein series in the usual sense. And then this is a uh, so schematically result. So, so we claim that Fs tau is again uh, schematically expressible as uh, at this form. Here, uh, so this is a kind of uh, so non holomorphic identity like this. So Pi is a, some polynomial. And, and so we, have, we still have a Gaussian factor. And this combination uh, has a good modular behavior. So this is the result. And okay, let me show you a uh, simple. <laughs> Okay. The only dependence on i is in the solution, or just this one? <laughs> I. The only dependence on i. It looks like it factorizes except for those. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, so the sums are just. Yeah, uh, this, this, uh, I. S well, maybe it's okay, but <laughs> it, it may be uh, so may, may be some imprecise expression. Sorry. Anyway, so the point is, uh, uh, FS style is so uh, FS, FS style is uh, expressive based on the so uh, non holomorphic identity series. So this is the expression. Mo uh, so. Most simple, most simple case, simplest case. So this is um, uh, level n equal n minus two minimal model, and this is uh, level n uh, SL two over one theory. And this is known as a model of every uh, every space of the type at a n minus one type. Okay, so this is the result, and so the explicit form. Of f each f one tau f one tau f one tau. Uh, now explicitly we can calculate this function as as follows. Here the notation rho plus zero means uh, defined this way. By the way, uh, so you can easily prove that uh, this function uh, is a so well-known form of so modular completion of G two. So as as you know, G two is a, uh, G two is a not modular, but uh, so if you add this term, so this is a, uh, this is modular but non holomorphic. Okay, so uh, let me summarize. So, uh, main so main point uh, is <laughs> main point of my talk is um, <laughs> modular completions. So this is a modular completion of two vegas func uh, function. This is a modular completion of uh, extend discrete character. These function uh, uh, expressive. In in terms of the non holomorphic Eisenstein series, I think this is the uh, simplest expression of this function. In other words, uh, Eisenstein, Eisenstein like series or, or the wireless stress sigma function uh, with a Gaussian dumping factor. And the advantage of, the advantage of this expression is. Uh, is that modular and the spectral flow properties are manifest. I hope uh, these, these formula uh, will play complementary roles to the approach of representation theory of supercomal algebra. Also, uh, we discuss about the elliptic genus of the non-compact Gebner-like orbitals based on the modular completion. 
And the, the character expansion is very complicated, I think. And comparably simpler expression is achieved uh, by means of the uh, formula of non holomorphic Eisenstein series. Eh? That's all. Oh, thank you very much for your attention.